Morning. The podcast room 1215 is a place where different opinions are often expressed and one may find offensive. As founder and CEO of room 1215, my partner and I wanted to create a place where people can openly discuss their opinions without any interference or judgment. However, some opinions may be strongly one-sided and we do not intend to offend or hurt anyone's feelings, no matter the race, sexual orientation, gender, or creed. Period. Viewers discretion advised, shawty. Another hot one. But before I go on any farther, I have a special guest. That's right. You heard it first from me. I have a special guest. I'm going to go ahead and let him, you know, get to it. Hold the applause. <laughs> Hold the applause, everyone. It's me. It's Jarrell. We here. How's everyone doing? Let's go. How's everyone doing on this Sunday? I am doing, I'm doing good. I'm doing good. But... I normally do. I normally wouldn't do a podcast on today, but I have been getting so many emails, so many calls, so many texts. So it's only right that I bring you a podcast about this whole Marcus Houston situation. So let's dive right into it. As you guys know, a couple of days ago, Marcus Houston married a hmm. <laughs> a very young bride. Uh, Marcus Houston is a member of um, the group Immature. If you guys don't know, he was really popular in the 90s and early 2000s. Not only that, um, he starred on the show Sister, Sister as... Oh, oh Roger. <laughs> yeah, you heard it, as Roger. So, Marcus Houston... A couple days ago, tied the knot with a very young girl, which is 19. Hit the teen in this. I'm going to read something um, that I had found. And I'm um, just let me know. I'm just going to read something. Marcus Houston recently tied the knot with his 19-year-old girlfriend. But that's not the only controversy. Surrounding this union. In 2016, what's is her name? Like Mayana? Mayana? Dicky? Then 15 years old, was reported missing after running away from home. Only, listen to this part, this is the kicker. Only to resurface after being proposed to by Houston. 11 days after her 18th birthday. Interesting. The guys have a lot to discuss tomorrow. Wow. Wow. Imagine that. Imagine you going missing and reappearing only to be married. Now, Tia, what do you think about that? You know how I feel about this. You know how I feel about this. At first, I did not want to tear down Marcus Houston. Me being a black woman, me loving a black man. I didn't want to do that. I mean, come on. It's Marcus Houston. Okay, he may not be the most popular <laughs> of the R&B singers, but yeah. he's very well known. Like you said, if it's from TV, you know, he played in a few films. Even though that we one, forget, we the, forgot you the, 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 the one hey, you got served was a classic. Classic. Elgin James Eugene Smith the third, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so it, it's kind of hard to like throw any sh shade or dirt on this man because like, you know, it kind of hints back to R. Kelly. Exactly. We're gonna get <laughs> we're gonna get down you know to it further down the show. But my opinion on this is, dude, she's 19 years old. She's too young. And I know the black community, I know we have coined this phrase, age ain't nothing but a number. But come on, let's be serious. At the age of 19, did you want it to get married? I mean, come on. Marcus Houston is 39 years old. He's at that age in his life where he wants to settle down and have kids. Can a 19-year-old fulfill all those wifely duties? 
I don't think she can. Can she? 19. Let me see. At 19, I was only thinking about drinking. <laughs> let, you let, wasn't let, even legal yet. <laughs> let, let's be honest. That and that's the that's the crazy part about it. At 19, I thought about 19-year-old things. There was no way you can convince a 19-year-old me to get married, especially not to someone older. I mean, agreed. I understand that. But at 19 years old, I can truly say I was marriage was the was the furthest thing on my mind. I all like I say I always wanted to get married young, but if, if I was to get married on 19, I think my husband probably would have been 19 or either 20 or 21, not 39 years old. He wouldn't have been that old. I feel like that's selfish for him to marry someone who's 19 because he had he he had time to live his life. He had had so many life experiences. She haven't had that those many life experiences. She, I mean, come on, she's just 19. Bruh, you old, bruh. <laughs> <laughs> like, dog, you, you at the point now? Well, we can't even call you Marcus. We gotta no. call you Mr. Houston. Mr. Houston. Nigga, you knocking on you knocking on 40. <laughs> <laughs> you knocking on you knocking on 40, and your whole goal was to marry a 19-year-old. Come on, Mr. Houston. Mr. Houston. Houston, we really do have a problem. And the problem is, why are you dating a 19-year-old? I mean, like, he says that he met her at a Jehovah Witness convention. And I'm not even going to go into all that we, on what I we, believe in my opinion get into that one. on Jehovah Witness. I'm not going to even get on that. I'm going to minimize that. I'm not even going to get into that. But he said he met her at a Jehovah Witness convention uh, two years ago. Two years ago. Come on, 19 minus 2, easy math. That gets you 17, 2018. He said in a report that she was 18 in 2018, but we that's impossible. And if you do the math from the article you just read, didn't it say she was missing uh -huh. from 16 to now, really? Uh-huh. So let's say if he did meet her around that time, that still shows signs that you were either already fooling with or plotting on this woman before she turned legal age. Exactly, exactly. I, I don't I don't think that it was the right go for Mr. Houston. Mr. Houston. Mr. Houston, no. No. I'm very disappointed in you. Like I said, I didn't want to I didn't want to tear you down. I didn't want to tear you down, but I just want to, you know, make it make sense and nothing was added up. You got a young bride. <laughs> I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> I do, I, I, we we should have knew something was all about Mr. Houston when he wore that clear suit to that uh, <laughs> to that event. Like something was all about, bro. But Mr. Houston, I you know, being a male, I completely under. Well, I, I'm not gonna lie and say I understand, but yeah, it's my point of. I can't even get it out, y'all. To think that you would be a R&B singer and yeah. well known, I know women coming at you of all exactly. ages. Exactly, all ages. I know you probably got grandmas, moms, pretty sure daughters as well. I mean, yeah. let, let's just be honest. Yeah. You know? I yeah. know. You got the whole family. You're a singer. Women love men who can sing. And they like they like the light skin dude. And you light skin, bro. Light skin with money, living in Hollywood. Oh wow, yeah, we ain't even mentioned that part, even... but <laughs> <laughs> you know, so all that, all it, that. it just makes me wonder, like, what made you choose a nineteen-year-old out of all these women, Mister Houston? I feel like she being nineteen years old, she should be thinking about the best years in her life, like entering to college. Like she ain't gonna have no, she ain't gonna have like. She ain't going to have nothing. What I'm trying to say is she's not going to have nothing in common with her peers. Like, come on. Come on. Like, oh, are we going to the mall? We about to go on spring break. Oh, I got to ask my husband before I go <laughs> on a trip. 19. I got to ask my husband what he wants for dinner. Like, are you are I'm, you prepared for that? It's just crazy. And okay, in those cases, I just never see it going well. Only because, as you said earlier... 
older men, not even just men, but old, if you're older, if you're Mr. Houston's age, of course you're thinking about settling. This girl, 19, she's not even legally able to buy liquor. Yeah, yeah. Which means she's, in my opinion, she's still too young. Yeah. And she going to want to party. She going to want to go out. You're not going to be down with that. You know why? Because you've done that already. Especially with someone of his caliber being that he, you know, been in the game since he was a kid. Yeah. I'm talking about a long time. Like, very, very much so longer than, you know, your typical yeah. celebrity. Yeah. But just to add on that, what you said, I'm 26 years old. And I can remember seeing Immature a youngest like four or five. So that means he been he's been in there for like twenty plus years for the better part of his life. Yeah, so he's at the age where he gonna want to sit at home and watch TV and do dad things and dad stuff and start a family. You're nineteen years old and make terrible movies. Let's just let's just. Oh yeah, he does make terrible let, movies. Let, hey. <laughs> And we all know we gonna be honest. Yeah. Outside of you got served. Yeah. Uh, somebody saved me was terrible. Somebody saved me two was. I ain't even watched that one. There was a two to that. There was a two. Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> there was a there was a second one, and that's why you haven't heard of it because it was poor. Oh man! Wow! 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 That this is this is just crazy. Like I said, I, I'm speechless. I feel like he shouldn't have married her. If she wasn't able to buy alcohol, you shouldn't have married her. And I felt like if it was true love, it was meant to be. It you know you would have been like yo, I like you, but you you need a little bit more maturing for me. If it was real and if it was meant to be, fate would have had they would have met up at some time. Like I can honestly think about that. I I was so ill prepared on this podcast because I forgot to uh, mention some things to my uh, my partner. I was gonna uh, you know email him some things. A lot, a lot. I excuse me. I read a lot of you guys' comments and feedback, and you guys were awesome on that part. Awesome. Um, it was one in particular. I may have to read it probably this week because I'm going to drop another podcast. I am going to do another podcast, but I just wanted to talk about this first because it was on my mind. Um, she did a really good job. She was like, from personal experience, one of my listeners, from personal experience, she was saying, at 19, I dated someone. She was telling me that she dated someone that was older than her, and she thought it was like a good move. You know, because she thought, you know, I'm 19. I'm mature enough to handle this relationship. And she said it was the worst move in her life. She felt like it was just a horrible mistake. She she said it was a love-hate thing. She loved it because it taught her so many valuable lessons out of that relationship. But she hated it because, you know... She just wish she just would have listened to her peers and was like, not pursue that relationship because he was just too old for her. She thought she was mature enough to handle it. He thought that she was mature enough to handle it. But in the end, I mean, it was just too much for her and she left that relationship. And let's just be honest, people. Let's be honest. We've all dabbed in you know, relations yeah. with someone older, older than us. Yeah. Whether that's two, three years or mm -hmm. five, ten, fifteen, twenty. We've we've all been guilty of, you know, messing with somebody that was maybe our parents' age. Uh, yeah. Yeah, we Let's have. Let's just be honest. I know I know for women it's it's definitely that because <laughs> Y'all love y'all some older men sometimes, you know. <laughs> yeah, we do because we as females, we look for that stability and we don't see it in guys our age. Sometimes we do, but sometimes we don't. So we as females, we're looking for stability. We're, we, guys be looking at the physical, but when it comes to females, we be looking at that financially, that stability, all that. 
Definitely. So that's why we reach for the older guys. Definitely. And, and, and why wouldn't that make sense? Yeah. And, and this just, you know, it may be off subject, but it also ties in with how I feel about these type situations. Parents sometimes groom their daughters True. That's to be accepted by someone true. that age. True. I ain't going to touch on the other artists. Who, Sylvester. So, I ain't gonna touch <laughs> on him, but there was cases with his victims. I don't know if we should call them victims, but there were cases with his victims we where yeah, right. I feel like they were grown. Their parents ultimately told them, like, look, listen, go get you somebody with some money so you won't have to work. Working is overrated, it's, you know. Working is very overrated. So go get you somebody with some money. Be taken care of. Be happy. And you know, that's life for you. Let me stop you right there. Do you think that this girl parents had her to do that in that situation? What's your opinion? Because I, I, you know, I don't know her. I don't. <laughs> apparently, no one knows <laughs> no, her. No, we don't. We both don't know her. We don't know her. <laughs> but. <laughs> I don't know. Do we have to look out for a surviving Mr. Houston? That's what I just, that's what I said earlier. Do we have to look out for surviving Mr. Houston? Because I got a feeling that it's going to come. I feel like ultimately, anytime, especially with celebrities, mm-hmm. with celebrity men, when they go the route of marrying or being with someone that's mm-hmm. that age, it never it works. works. It never works. To, True. to shout out a, another situation. Now, I don't know the age difference between... Tracy Morgan and his ex, mm-hmm. but she was younger than him, mm-hmm. and now they're separated. She was when they start talking. Okay, she's thirty three now, but when they start talking, I think they was like, I think she was like twenty seven or twenty eight. So she was in her late twenties. Definitely younger than him, though. So mm-hmm. you know, I I feel it never works. And if you guys want to talk about Beyonce and Jay Z, let me just clear that on up. Um, first of all, Beyonce and Jay-Z have a 12, I mean, excuse me, a 12 year age difference, not a freaking 20. And Jay-Z didn't marry Beyonce at Dog on 19. He let her live her life. Follow me on that? She definitely was all the way grown when they He uh, let her live her life. Together, so yeah. And then to matter, and then to build on what Jarrell was saying, I think we as females, the cra- crazy but true, we have always liked someone that was older for us for example even myself i think i was talking to someone like when i was like this is before <laughs> i gotta say it i know i know ah, it was before it was before <laughs> it was before you hey. and when i was young and i was you know just starting to get it you know i've been working but like I, I always had a job ever since I was like 14, whether it was hustling, babysitting, cleaning up folks' houses. I always did that. Like, I always had, I, I lo- I'm not going to lie. I like money. I like nice things I like to have, you know, so I always work. So when I, fought, when I first start working, excuse me, when I first start working at Walmart and I was going to Wallace, Wallace Community College, Selma, never forget it was an older guy, and I thought he was so handsome. He had muscles. He was bald headed. <laughs> he had a beard like Mr. Clean, you know, that whole with the <laughs> with the hoop earrings. And I thought he was kind of cute. So, me and him, you know, started talking. I guess he was like, okay, she's younger than me, so I know she's going to be like a sugar babe. So, okay. I spoiled on all that, all that. Never forget, this guy was looking at me one day, and he was like, um, is you, uh, is your mother, do you have a, he was looking at my friends one day, and no lie, he asked me, he said, do you know anyone by the name of Sandra Lewis? And anyone know, <laughs> it's a part of the first time hearing this story, excuse, excuse me, laughing his facial expressions, <laughs> he was, he was like, do you know anybody by the name of Sandra Lewis? And I was like, uh, oh, Sandra Lewis? She's not Lewis anymore. She's Stevenson, and that's my mother. He was like, oh, my gosh. I was just looking at you, and you look just like her. And I was like, creepy. So he he told me. I, I knew his name, so I went back to my mom. And I was like, mom, 
so-and-so asked about you and she was like what's his name and i told her that she was like oh my gosh you know i had the biggest crush on him in high school i was like oh no oh, 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 oh. <laughs> i am not talking to anyone that my mom had a crush on so that that killed it that day <laughs> killed it that day i was like nope uh -uh, not gonna work i was like okay let me just take my own happy go lucky butt back on <laughs> yeah see <laughs> older niggas be plotting too oh yeah oh older yeah niggas be plotting. they always be plotting they know yeah, when I ain't even lie. we but you know that's just a touch on the topic like we've all had our endeavors with uh someone older yeah i've dealt with the woman that was older Mm -hmm. I was 15. Mm -hmm. She was 37. Oh, wow. She, I think he told me this story before. She had, oh, wow. a, she had a son my age. Oh, God. And that, for me, was kind of like the line, you know, the line that was crossed. Like, what would it have been had that continued on? With me being the same age as her son, we would graduate together. And she was 37. 37. Let me ask you this. Was she having, like, sexually charged... I mean, like, was she having sexually charged conversations with you? Oh, yeah. Oh, my God! Oh, yeah. What? <laughs> Man, I just gotta be honest. It was, uh... Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so she was 37. This was when Blackberries were out. That first touchscreen Blackberry. Uh huh. Uh huh. I had one. Mm hmm. Yeah. It was full of uh, stuff. And she knew you was 15. She, she knew. knew you wasn't 18. And, and, and to clear the air, I was a very mature 15 year old. Being that I have an older brother. It, it it you know, it was easy to see and and be prepared for things in life because he had already went through it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, several things he had to go through. I didn't have to go through because mm -hmm. you know he was first born. Mm -hmm. So for me being a fifteen year old, I was very mature. So she did know my age. Oh wow! She did know my age, but because I was so mature and my voice. Uh, my voice deepened before wow. I, you know. Did you guys get, used to talk on the phone? Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, 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 yeah. All that. You did. Oh, God. So, That's crazy. So, once again, um, outside of that story, we've all had, we our, all talk to somebody we've all had our time with someone older. But in this particular case, I just... It feels different. It, it does. It does. It feels different. You're like, no, no. This is a no go. This is a no no. And this is one thing I have with the black community. And uh, we, I'm, not, I'm gonna try not to go over. Try to keep it at thirty minutes. Uh, if we need to do a part two, we can do a part two. Um, this is a thing I have with the black community. When people say age ain't nothing but no, a number, because we heard that like so many times on the R. Kelly documentary. When people say age is just a number, that kind of scares me. I'm just going to be honest. It's definitely creepy. It's creepy. It's creepy hearing it as an adult. It's creepy. And every, for me, for me, every time something of this nature happens, it make you want to go back and investigate. Yeah. And then everything is always suspicious. Oh, yeah. The black community, I definitely have to say we have to do better because just because somebody is legal or over that age of consent, I think it's 17, uh, I think it's uh, 17 here in Alabama. I think it's 17 or the 16. I think just because somebody is over the age of consent and just because it's they're over that age of legal, that does not make it right. I feel like we as a black community, we could be like, oh, if that ain't, I feel like we turn our eye to a lot of things. We see, but we don't see. I know that's a hood rule that my mom and my grandma taught me. Tia, see and don't see. Yeah, yeah. They taught me that and they instilled that into me. You know, see, but don't see. So I feel like we know when we see things that isn't right, we know it isn't right, but we just turn a blind eye to it. Like, it's, a, it's not in our family, so we ain't got to worry about right. that. Y'all business. 
We ain't gonna worry about it. It's just, it's just always, it's easy, bro. It's easy to be swayed by something or someone who I'm gonna say have power. Like I feel like celebrities hold a power. Mm-hmm. You no, know, it's being known. It's being, mm-hmm. it's being, you know, wealthy. Mm-hmm. And and you know, like like I was saying before, it just make you think. You go back and you think about stuff. You listen to songs this person's made. Mm-hmm. I was my favorite song by Mr. Houston was Naked. Naked, yeah, that's my favorite one. And too. I was just thinking about those lyrics and this. <laughs> I, he said, "I know you want this girl. I can see it in your, your eyes. eyes. Mm-hmm. Don't be ashamed of what you got between them thighs." Mm-hmm. <sighs> listen. If this don't sound like he's serenading a young younger girl, girl. And, and then it, it, cause only a young girl gonna be scared. A grown woman ain't gonna be scared about what yeah, she got. Be, a young be, girl be gonna be scared about it now. Be real. That's just un- that's sound, just un- uh, As a male, to me, it sounds like you're you're talking to a virgin. You're grooming her. Let's just She's say it. She's very young. Say it. In experience, we gonna put it like that. In experience, yeah. <laughs> that's something to think about. It it is, man. It's it's crazy. He also had another song. Somebody help me, help me get out of the circle. Maybe he's been crying for help all this time. What you trying to get help from? What, what you, circle are you trying, trying to, get to get out, out of, sir? Is it a pedophile circle? Yeah. Human trafficking circle? I mean, like, mm-hmm. hey, y'all, it's it's been plenty of congratulations, but it has been with shade. Yeah, it, yeah, it has been. Yeah, that's true. Congratulations, been- Mr. Houston. And fellas, don't worry. Maybe your girlfriend is in the third grade right now. That shade. It's been so it's been much shade. Several- it's so much shade. So much. Like, I felt like I, I saw some celebrities saying congratulations, and then I saw a lot of celebrities that wasn't saying um, congratulations. It's nothing to celebrate. Nothing celebratory about a 39 year old man, a 19 year old. It, it's nothing to celebrate. It, it's nothing to wish well, congratulations. Some I was talking to somebody else on today and it was like, I think she married um, him because of financial security. Well, maybe true, but come on. Black females, black, especially black young females, we are no longer the damsel in disgrace. We are out here handling and getting it. So it and money, mm-mm. Got to make come up with something right. different. Protect black women. Protect black women. I think black, black girl magic. Yeah, you know? yeah. I think she was groomed. Definitely think that she was groomed. Now it did it did say something about you know how he considered Chris Stokes to be his father and the the lady that he the teenager the teen the teen that he married uh, is friend to Chris Stokes' daughter. So you probably been seeing her a lot. Hmm, something to think about. And just uh, imagine him being connected with Chris Stokes for all this time because he's been in the game so long. Yeah. So you probably been eyeing this girl for a ever. very long time. Who knows? Who knows? And you know, I remember seeing the article. It was like, "Congratulations are in order to Mr. Marcus Houston." And I was like, oh, okay, cool. He got married. I'm I'm guilty of scrolling past passages and be like, oh, okay. Mm-hmm. It's not a big deal to me. And I go back and I was like, you know me, I'm I'm a man. So I was like, let me see what the wife look like. <laughs> I scroll back up and then I see he married his 19. 19? Hmm? 19? I'm 27 and I feel like a 19 year old is too young for me. So I can only imagine how that nigga feel. Yeah, I'm 26 and 19 years too <laughs> young for me. Um, you know, and, and that you know, I ain't gonna be a hypocrite because I, like I said, I've had my dealings with an older woman, but but you learned though you didn't stay in. I mean, you didn't make a big drastic decision like that. That's true. We didn't get married. You, you kind of like no, this is this something ain't right about this. The like, how was I gonna bring a thirty-seven year old home to my mother? I know. Like, just imagine how I would have brought that. Oh, oh, Tia, who you going on a date with? Oh, I'm just going there with so and so, so and so. I remember him from high school. Awkward, right? Awkward. Like, no, 
no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no. Um, yeah, so we totally disagree with this whole Marcus Houston thing, and we think she should get the marriage annulled. Get out of it. Run, girl, run. He old. Go out and live your life. That nigga gonna wanna take naps, and you gonna wanna go out. You gonna wanna go party. He gonna get tired of you spending his money. Yes, he gonna be like, girl, you need to get a job. Go to school. And he gonna be like, well, this what you wanted. He know he get himself into, obviously. I don't think it's a good idea, Mr. Houston. I don't. I mean, let... Get that marriage and all. And come on, bruh. I'm finna, bruh. bruh. This me, bruh. Talk to me, bruh. <laughs> <laughs> bruh, let's just be real. You could have married a woman your age and then had had the little 19-year-old, little fling. So, that yeah. wouldn't even been no big news, see? Yeah, it would have been that, no that, big that, news. That would have been, been quiet. Her. You could have paid her, you know, keep quiet, yada, mm-hmm. yada, did that. Let's just be on people. We know people do that. Yeah, we do. We know people do that. We so, know that. I mean. Well, you got us, you got our review from it. You got our feedback from it. This is how we feel. I had to bring on a guest. I just could not do this alone. It was just too much. So, we're going to wrap this on up. I hope you guys take care. God bless. And I will put this out and I will give you another podcast um, this week. Yeah. Love you guys. Let's run it up, y'all. Let's run it up. I mean, I, um, I'm going to say this on camera. I really admire watching her do a thing. Oh. And uh, you know, let's run it up for her. I, I, you know, enjoy the ener- energy she's getting from you mm-hmm. all. Mm-hmm. Definitely, and definitely. it's really making her happy. So let's just continue to be positive, and mm-hmm. I'm gonna help her do everything I can to help her yeah, continue yeah. putting out this good content. I'm gonna be putting out some content on my own. Yeah. You want to stay on the lookout for that? Follow me on mm-hmm. Instagram. Mm-hmm. Follow King Rello two seven. K I N G R E L L O two seven, you know, or you can even request my presence again. <laughs> yeah, I will. I will <laughs> take it. I will take it through her. Mm-hmm. You guys oh, yeah. have any questions, comments, and concerns? You guys know where to find me. You can email me at chitchatroom twenty at gmail dot com. So you guys, I love you guys. Take care. God bless. Peace out.